looks like 2022's macro forces have definitely challenged deal counts in Asia. This comes as no surprise after a record-breaking 2021. But in a world of increasing uncertainty, W&I Insurance has continued to help our clients manage their risk, with usage growing over time in spite of a slight increase in average rates in Asia. Team, report in! What's the state of play? Our data shows last year's top three sub-regions have maintained their respective leads in their number of closed deals. India has weathered 2022 remarkably well with a steady pace of M&A activity leading us to closing 37 deals. Average rates fell slightly as the trend of limited underwriter availability and selective appetite persisted until Q4. Most deals came from the CMT industry while PE continues to be the main insured as per the year before. In ASEAN, we closed 31 deals equal to last year in spite of a quieter mid-year. Average rates have increased by 0.39% as we worked on more operational businesses outside of Singapore which attract higher premiums. Nevertheless, pricing for real estate deals in ASEAN remains extremely competitive and this continues to be a dominant sector in the sub-region. Similar to India, ASEAN is also a PE-dominated market. Rounding off the top three, Japan finished the year with 29 deals after a slower start in the first half. Average rates have increased slightly by 0.14%. This may be a result of a rise in small domestic transactions insured with smaller limits and higher rates. Japan's insured are split equally between corporates and PE, which again is a trend consistent with prior year, and manufacturing was the standout industry in 2022. Over to you, Brian. Thanks, Lee. Looking at Korea, we closed 11 deals. Korea saw the highest increase in average rates caused by challenging deal dynamics and insurers' concerns over an increase in claims notifications regarding Korean targets. The key industry was energy and corporates were the main W&I insureds. As for Greater China, the macro environment has made deal-making and insurance appetite challenging. Nevertheless, we closed three deals with an improvement in average rates. We saw more corporates than PE users in 2022 which is a change from the years before, and also more queries in Q4 with China's reopening, which is great news. What an epic year! So, it seems that South Asia has only a minor dip in deal counts, whereas North Asia saw a more drastic drop because of the chilling effects of rising interest rates, currency depreciation, and China remaining closed for most of the year. I wonder how our insurers have performed. Is our new team captain Hao Ren back with his intel? Right on time, Eiling. Take a look at our leaderboard. You can see that the top three insurers in Asia in 2022 are Liberty, AIG and Time Machine with 19, 15 and 9 closed deals respectively. Liberty continues to lead ASEAN and AIG has consolidated its position in India, both with 11 deals each. Hot on their heels is Time Machine, a Japanese domestic insurer that has really captured the Japanese market in 2022 as more clients turn to local insurers with native language capabilities for domestic transactions. Close behind 2022's top three are Fusion and Tokyo Marine HCC, which are tied in fourth place. It's worth mentioning that Fusion and MGA and relatively newer participant in the Asian market is shaping up as a strong contender for clients' choice. I also have good news. 2023 will see three players, Mosaic, Riskpoint and Volante, open new, dedicated Asia businesses, with two of them also MGAs, like Fusion. With that, we have completed all quests from our clients. Firstly, we successfully addressed 2021's shortage of underwriting capacity. Secondly, we worked with existing insurers to expand their teams or rebuild after departures. Last but not least, we attracted new insurers with a focus on Asia risks to drive further innovation and reinforce supply. And now that we've completed our three quests, our clients stand to benefit from more competition in the WNI insurance market and better service. Great effort from everyone in the arena. Sounds like Marsha's experience has really paid off for our clients. It's now 2023, new level, new challenges. 
we can already see advisors and clients joining forces with us. Yes, they know we are a resilient broker that has stood the test of time and we are the ones to help them level up and overcome the challenges together. Team, ready yourselves for the next wave, Level 2023. Let's go! Ready! ready.